Today, we're here on the Bay Farm Research Facility, and we are in the crossing block of the Northern Soybean Breeding Program. We generally attempt crossing different varieties of soybeans to develop a new and better variety of soybean. So the first thing we do is go out and collect pollen, and you're gonna look for a flower that is gonna open today and it is vibrant and purple. This purple one right here will open later today. We collect it and we put it in a tube. with a little bit of desiccant so that the pollen dries out. And then we close these tubes and put them into a cooler. After we've collected the pollen, we go to the female plot, which is on our tube in red. You'll sit down and you'll try to look for good female flowers. You'll remove all the other flowers from the node that you find a really good female flower on. Maybe if I do it that way. And you want your female flower to have kind of the petals point still showing through the sepals. So you can see the white coming through. Then we go through and we remove the sepals. And there's five sepals and you wanna make sure you get all of them or you will pull your flower off when you go to take the petals off. After I've removed all of the sepals, I like to tag my cross right after that. I'll, you'll put the tag just on the flower that you're crossing since you've removed everything else. So it's easier when it comes to harvest, you can just pull off the pod and wrap the tag around the pod that you crossed. So after that, then you'll go back in and you'll remove all the petals. And what you should have left is possibly some anthers and the female part of the flower is the stigma, which will also be left, and that's where you want to put the pollen onto. You'll go back into your pollen, which you've collected earlier in the morning. And then we have the male part, which is the anthers and the filament, and we will put that right on top of the stigma. And then you let it sit, and in seven to 10 days, you can check it to see if you had a su successful cross. From that point, we go through several generations of inbreeding until we develop a pure line experimental soybean. From that point, we start to evaluate those experimental lines in the field for a number of traits. We evaluate yield for several years. We select the best varieties that perform well in the field and also have our desired traits. And those soybean lines will potentially be released as cultivars that farmers can grow.